Stripe checkout for multiple products. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create a custom checkout on Stripe that will include multiple products. So it is very easy and very simple. All you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning to the end and you are going to be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to head over to stripe.com. Sign in for an account within this platform and then you are going simply to uh, go and to see here the uh, dashboard itself. So I'm going to visit my dashboard and then it will show up the statistics, the reports and everything about my account. So here we have our account. Now what are we going to do to create the specific checkout that will include multiple products? Here is uh, starting by adding the product. So we are going to head over the left side of the screen. We have the home, balances, transactions, customers, product catalog. Basically these items or all these items are going to be here at the control panel or the control items of the Stripe dashboard. We're going to select here the product catalog and you are going to check out product. So how you can go ahead and add any product or a product is simply. So you are going to visit the product catalog. You're going to check up uh, the uh, products that are available. If you do want to add another product, you're going to click on create a new product or create product here. You're going to put a name for that product, a description, upload an image for that specific product, put the payment of that product if it is a, going to be a recurring a subscription, go ahead and set it as recurring, one-off only, or a one-time payment. So you are going to add the amount of the, the, uh, of the value of the product. Here you can go ahead and choose the currency. And for the billing uh, period, it is going to be here uh, depending on the payment type. If it is recurring, it will be right there. If it is a one-off, you're going to see it right there. So you can go ahead and add, for example, uh, some options to the payments or the price. You can go ahead and set up some price description, lookup keys, and etc. And then when you finish, you are going to simply to click on add product. So as you can see here, we have multiple products that we have uh, created or added already. So we are going to create the multiple checkout for these products. Here, I will give you an idea on how we can create the multiple checkout. So if you have a Shopify store or a WooCommerce store and you have linked your uh, right there Stripe account to the store, you can go ahead and create a checkout for the store first by adding multiple products to one checkout or one cart, then they will be automatically taking the payment to the Stripe checkout and they are going to collect the money for you. Also, you can go ahead and get the idea of creating here some bundles. You can go ahead and create a bundle, set up, for example, the bundle and get an image like that uh, this is a representation of a bundle that i have created uh, here we have uh, three uh, items and these items should be uh, right there uh, mentioned on the description of that product so you are going to create a normal product by clicking on that and then you are going simply to add the, or upload the image of that bundle after that you are going to put here a high price obviously and now we are going to create the uh, payment link that will allow us to create or get a multiple item or multiple product checkout on uh, Stripe only. So we are going to get only that link and that will allow us to publish or share that checkout. Now, we are going to head over to the left side of the screen as always. From the shortcuts, you're going to see here payment links. You're going to click on here. Or if you don't see it on the shortcuts, you're going to click on the plus button right there or the plus icon at the top. Then you're going to see that we have invoices or invoice subscription and payment link. So you're going to click on payment link and it will take you to the creation directly of the payment links. 
So this is uh, till now uh, very simple. So we are on the payment link section that we are going to create. Here we have the preview. As you can see, we are going to get the product name, the store name, and the uh, price of that product. For the uh, gathering information about the clients, you're going to get here a standard form of an email, a card information, a card holder name, a country or region. The final button is going to be pay for the action button. Now, here we have the payment page, which is this one. For the after payment page, it is going to be like that. It is going to be here thanking the customer about their purchase. Now, back to the payment page, I'm going to create or not create, but I'm going to add here products. You can go ahead and create or add a new product from here, or you can go ahead and select the product. I'm going to start by adding the first product here. Obviously, it will not give you the preview of the product in case that you haven't completed the uh, payment uh, procedure or the uh, business information about your account on Stripe, like my case here. And also, it didn't turn on the payment method. So for the quantity, I'm not going to let it here one, but I'm going to enable the let customers adjust the quantity. Now, the trick here is to click on add another product. So you are going simply to add another product. I am going to add here the example of book of the sea, for example. And here we are going to add it as a product. Let's pretend that this is a uh, here a normal product or a physical product so i am going to let the customers again to adjust the quantity now for the third product i'm going to add another one so here we are entering on the phase of multiple product checkout so i'm going to add for example a pc here we have the pc gaming right here we have everything set up so we have added at least three products and this is a multiple checkout page now you're going to add this specific area which is going to help you to reach out to the customers about their addresses which is collect customers addresses so we are going to collect addresses and shipping addresses only like that not only but here everything so you can add for example shipping rate and here you have it Either you are going to set it as international like that, that I have created or right there, or you can go ahead and add a new shipping rate. So you can require the customers to provide a phone number, and this is very uh, here logic. And for example, here I have some advanced options, like adding some custom fields, allowing the promotion codes, allow uh, the business customers to provide tax, uh, right, their IDs, and etc. And it is up to you. So I'm going to click also save payments right there, details for future use. Here you can see that as the call to action, here we have the pay, book and donate are as a call to action buttons. When you finish that, you're going to visit the after payment, let it see or let yourself see the confirmation page, etc. Then you are going to click on create a link. Obviously, in my case, I haven't completed my, uh, my profile yet, so it will not allow me. But you are going to get a link, copy that link, put it wherever you want, uh, put it as a hyperlink, or put it here, an underneath link, or whatever you want here, and you are going to get that checkout for multiple products. That was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content, and hope to see you soon on the next one.